is Aileen Perez. I'm an astrophysicist, and this is Does the Universe Have an Endpoint? So uh, that's a difficult thing to answer just because there is a difference between the observable universe and the universe. So uh, the actual strength of the universe is sort of unknown, but we can talk about the observable unit, meaning how far we can observe and how far has light traveled. So since the Big Bang, uh, about 14 million years ago, so we started expanding. So expanding very rapidly. We went through a period of inflation. And not only were photons of light, no, not only was light traveling away from this point, but the space between it was also expanding. So it's not, and I'm not saying that it's going faster than the speed of light, I'm just saying that it also added the speed of the expansion. So the oldest photons that we can actually observe, the oldest, is 47 billion years old. And that's despite the fact that the universe is only 14 billion years old. It's just that it looks like it has traveled for 47 billion years, but it, it hasn't. It's just the space, um, the space time has inflated. So if you actually look at this uh, light bubble, so let's say that the light has traveled this far, we have a diameter of about 90 billion light years. So that's very, very wide. But that's just the observable universe. That's just how far light has traveled. Now, the furthest objects that we've actually been able to observe are about 13.7 giga light years. Um, and, and that's just the furthest up. That's uh, protostar galaxies that we've been able to actually detect. Now, according to the uh, inflation theory, uh, the actual universe is 10 to the 23rd times the observable universe. So it's a lot, a lot, a lot larger than the observable universe. What is at the end point, we don't know. Uh, how far it actually extends, we don't know. But we do know that light has traveled a certain amount of time since the beginning of the Big Bang. So therefore, we can define the observable universe. My name is Eileen Perez. I'm an astrophysicist. And this is just the universe have an end point. Thank you.